Hey, this is Metal Max. I'm outside the High Noon Saloon. And yes, it's been a while since we've done one of these cool interviews, but fortunately, I've got one ready for ready to spring on you guys here tonight. For the very first time, I am talking to none other than three of the guys in Enswell. I've got I've got Lou, Maxwell, and Luke. How are you guys doing tonight? Fucking great. So I I have to tell you I I saw the set it was it was very amazing um I pretty much uh can already tell what the influences are but can you um why don't you uh fill the audience in on um who you take inspiration from I mean shit it, it, it's a lot of different bands honestly Finch and 18 Visions had a bastard child you guys will be the end result. I mean, shit, that's a compliment. You know, if anything, that is a big compliment. I love Deftones; they're one of my favorite bands. Oh, they're they're fantastic. You know, I mean, they've done they've done a lot of influences when it comes to like the whole, uh, you know, post hardcore, you know, metal sound and such. So, um, how long has Enswell been together? Uh, roughly about a year now. Yeah, uh, we we started. Yeah. We started our first practice about a year ago. Um, we all come from different bands. Uh, I come from Tiny Voices. Luke comes from Cool. Um, I was, Maxwell. yeah, I was in a, there was a band that Kyle, Allen, and I, who are not here, um, we used to be Lady Blue, and uh, we ran into some trouble with that, and then started Enswell and reached out to our good friends, Luke and Louie here, to, to kind of join the fold. Yeah, I would say Enswell. Um, about a year ago, we had our first practice. Um, we we jammed out our first single that just recently came out last month, Heart Container, and um, the sh the sales have been set since then. That's great, man. That's great. So um, so this is currently now this is your now this is your debut album. Uh, just our single. Okay, uh, yep. single. Yeah, so our single Ooh. dropped February seventeenth, so a little over a month ago. All right. Are there any uh, are there any plans to go back into the studio again to make any more new songs or? Yeah. So most of what we played tonight uh, is going to end up on the EP, uh, save the first song, and we did a cover in there. So, but uh, at least most of the set list is going to end up on our first EP. We're hoping to start tracking that in April next month. Awesome. Uh, you mentioned a cover. Talk about that. I mean. Shit, that, that's better verse for these two because I, I didn't really have anything to do with that. <laughs> the, the, com the cover that we did tonight was a song called Drug Lord, Drug Lord by William Bonney. Oh, wow. It's by an OG, well, not OG, but it was by like a screamo band. And um, I would say we, we kind of draw a lot of influences yeah. from William Bonney. They kind of do like this mixture of like old school like screamo mixed within like emo revival and that's kind of like the sound that we kind of go for hmm. and I think it suits it. What do you think of all the other bands that are on the bill tonight? Um, like you like you just saw Enswell. I mean not I mean you just <laughs> saw it without waves. Um, what did you think of their set? Uh, they were fucking great. I know they're on tour right now. Um, and they're on Prosthetic Records, which by, I believe... Oh, shit. I had no idea. Yeah, they are. I had no idea. No idea. They, um, that's if fucking you, cool. If you think about it, uh, you know, that's the same label that's housed bands such as Lamb of God and Between the Buried and Me. Holy shit. God damn. I know you're stoked to see Whiskey Pig. Yeah. They're about to be coming on next. Uh, how about the Faith Mills Have Eyes? Do you guys yes. like them? Yes. They are they are very good friends of mine. Um, I've known Aaron for uh, for a number of years now. Just want to give a quick shout out. This is this is how I got to meet them, Woody Davis. Oh He's wow! A very good friend of mine. Uh, rest his soul. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I heard him mention on stage tonight. Yep, he was the original bass player for the Faith Hills Have Eyes, and uh, wow. we have a song about him called Spirit Blues, which will be on our upcoming EP. Oh, that's great. It's a good way to pay tribute to the guy, too. Yep. Yep. Um, is there any place else uh, the fans could see you next? Like, uh, do you... Do you, are you going to be playing any more shows around uh, Wisconsin, or is it going to be more? Are you going to? Uh, oh, will it be time to just head back in the studio? Yes. So we are playing 
uh, at the washroom in Milwaukee on April Fools for April Fools Fest. How about that? We will be with Scam Likely, Doubter, Garden Home, Excuse Me, Who Are You, Tiny Voices, and Riot Nine. Nice. Um, it is not going to be a show that you want to miss. Uh, it, it it's going to be pretty fucking incredible. And I'll that, see if I can try to make it. <laughs> I think for shows after that we have uh, May tenth at the Rigby with Basketball Divorce Court. That'll be here in Madison. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, cool. Well, hey, that's great, man. Um, well, once again, uh, I look forward to hearing about what you guys have got going on in the future. I think it'll be, um, I think it'll be very spectacular, if nothing short of that. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, good luck to you guys. And uh, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll catch you around the next time you come into Madison. Hell yeah. This is this is Metal Max, and you just saw a, an amazing interview with Enswell. Hey, 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 it's Metal Max outside the High Noon Saloon again during the Faith Hills Have Eyes CD release party. And now I am joined by two of the members of Without Waves. I've got I've got Anthony, lead vocalist and rhythm guitar, and I've got Zach, who is another one of the guitar players. Uh, how you guys doing? doing I saw your man. set tonight. It was... It was to die for. Thank you for, for Thank checking this out, man. Yeah. Yeah, so, fun night. why don't you tell us a little bit about yourselves? Like, um, you know, um, how long you've been together and uh, and where you're signed to? <laughs> uh, we started in 2010. Um, we've all been playing together before that in a previous band. Uh, and then uh, we had a record come out via Prosthetic Records in 2017 called Nice. Peter. And then our second record with them came out in uh, 2022 last year called Comedian. Yeah. Nice. But we can we can tell you like uh, the singles if you want. Okay. Right. Why don't we right. do that? So um, Good Grief was the first uh, single we released. Uh, we filmed a video for it. Um, nice. And that song was sort of like a. Uh, and who directed the video? Uh, that was uh, Dustin Smith. Yeah. Who? Dustin Smith. Oh wow! Yeah, he's uh, he's great, man. He's done tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, but yeah, he, he did a great job. Really like, we had an idea for what we wanted. Uh, it was a video where we kind of we had like a fake basketball game or whatever. Uh, okay. He, he helped us kind of bring that to fruition. Uh, but good grief, uh, more of a socio uh, political commentary. Uh, we had largely written a lot of this record uh, a few years before uh, the pandemic or whatever. But essentially, yeah, the Good Grief is sort of a socio-political commentary on the absurdity of uh, right. social media and its effects on you know politics and shit like that. Um, what's the next? What was the other? What's the other? Shadows was the second. All right. Um, is there a video for that? There's a. Uh, there's not a video for that, but there's a. Um, lyric video or something like okay. that. Okay, um, that's good enough. Yeah, same time, just uh, sort of highlighting some of the uh, anxiety and things like that that kind of was born of that, you know, era or whatever the case. And then our, our last uh, single release was Seven, actually. That was the closing of the song on the record. Oh, nice. Uh, sort of like... The whole record had sort of an anxious vibe to it. Once you get to seven, which is the last song of the record, things sort of start to uh, mellow out, but also become a little bit more clear that things are unclear, and that's okay. So, yeah. How does it feel to be on uh, Prosthetic Records, best known for also once being the label of bands such as Lamb of God and Between the Buried and Me? Monk's Street Company. Because, like I said, you know, Lamb of God was on that label before they signed to Epic back in the early 2000s. And I think Between the Buried and Me were, were on there, too. Yeah. There's um, been a lot of impactful talent that's kind of gone through that label. So, yeah, we're, we're happy to be, uh, be signed to them. I'm going to go out on a limb, and I don't know if you'll take offense to this or not. <laughs> but, you know, if you do, I apologize in advance. It's but. So um, <laughs> um, but when I when I saw you guys on stage tonight, um, and I saw you guys perform the, that you know that diverse set, um, I heard a little bit of. I mean, I don't want to say you sound like these bands, but let's just say I heard a little bit of a, a little bit of stuff like something 
kind of like uh, somewhere between like Lamb of God, between the Buried and Me, maybe a little bit of Helmet, and definitely a little bit of Failure. Would, would that sound accurate? Um, yeah. Yes all, and no. Yeah. All bands have been compared to at, at certain points and things like that. Um, have you ever been compared to Failure or Helmet, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Helmet. Two great bands, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Failure is one of my favorites, of course. Uh, very quietly popular in the mid to late 90s. Mm -hmm. And obviously, yeah, uh, just a huge kind of resurgence uh, since 2015. Yeah. Uh, Helmet is also one of those bands that's really cool. Uh, main focus. Like maybe if Paige Hamilton learned to scream more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, I think we, when we started the band, we kind of went into it with like, this is whatever we want it to be. It, it, yeah. It is not necessarily a specific genre. How did you um? How'd you feel about being picked to play uh, this uh, CD release show for the Faith Hills Have Eyes tonight? Very cool. Um, they reached out to us, uh, you know, not too long ago, asking if we wanted to play. We've been up through Madison. Uh, many times, many times. Uh, but wow. yeah, this is a this is a great night. They're a great band. Um, yeah, this is great. Bill. Oh, for sure. They're fantastic guys too. What's in store for the for the for the next uh, couple of months? Uh, a combination of both. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe what, four songs. Give or take, give or take four songs. <laughs> um, and then uh, we're playing Minneapolis. Uh, Two days from now. Uh, regardless, yeah, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do that, and then um, yeah, I think probably just try to focus on writing some new material. Awesome. Yeah, so. Well, I want to thank the two of you for taking the time to talk to uh, to us here for uh, for Metal Max. That's me. Um, well, thanks again. Thanks again, Anthony and Zach of Without Waves. Catch them while you can. They're on Prosthetic Records and. They kick serious ass! <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Alright, that's here's Metal Max and coming right at you, and you were just we were just talking with two without waves.